different filters that do melting fastball on the screen. Yeah. That'd be great to be now. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Um, that, that, that was thinking of my next question. Uh, uh, that's a perfect segue to what I was going to ask you, uh, in a way, uh, which is... Uh, I'm just joking. Don't mind me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got to hold out. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, well, I'll take a minute to, to, to just sort of ask my students, first of all, if anyone has any questions um, today, if you do, you know, maybe write them down on a little piece of paper, and you can pass them up or something, and that way we can pose those questions and get those, uh, get them answered. Also, hope it's okay. We're going to sort of record this. Um, uh, by the way, <laughs> we got a few things happening. We got a few things happening. Um, but uh, 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 so, so if you do have questions as we go, please do not be shy about stepping up to the mic, so to speak, and, and asking a question while we have uh, an expert today and also taking some notes and things. Um, I was just sort of curious, uh, Pam, about um, you know what what is the what is the reaction that you get when you've screened these these films for folk around the country, you know, uh, 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 in your master class or or in the you know in the past when you've shown even just shown Midnight Ramble to audiences around the country in places like Ohio and places like the Heartland and the Midwest or the South. Um, do you find that, but, <coughs> what do people say when they see these films? What, is, what are the kind of reactions that you get? To a person, they're just blown away, because they were clueless. And the idea that um, um, black, white, purple, and green watch Midnight Ramble, <coughs> um, they are just stupefied, okay? Because they had no idea that, that uh, black folks were about to make movies. <laughs> And again, <laughs> Hollywood is perceived as the dominant culture, cinematically, and so nobody else was doing anything um, because you didn't hear about it. Um, because you were part of a different culture, okay? With the black community, you were hearing about it because there were all these little theaters all over the place where people would go to look at these films. But outside of that culture, outside of that community, people were clueless. They had no idea. I remember one of the interviews that we did that didn't make it into the into the doc was an interview with uh, the look at Robert Wise, <coughs> who's a Hollywood who's a Hollywood um, heavyweight um, director, uh, and he let's see, he directed. Film, um, I Want to Live with uh, Susan Hayward. Um, he also did uh, one of my favorite horror films, um, The Haunting, oh. the original, not the remake. Um, and that's like, to me, like the definitive horror film because all, all the ugliness happens out here. You know, there's, there's no blood, there's no gore, there's no gut. All in your imagination. That's fabulous. But anyway, <laughs> I re distinctly remember him saying when he, when he asked this question, um, when we asked him, were you aware of what was going on film-wise within the black community? Were you aware that these films were being done at this early time period? Were you aware of its history? And his answer was like so clear. It was, he said, well, I didn't know what was going on there because I was focused on my career. I was focused on work. I was focused on making movies. And so that's, that's what I did, you know. And it was like, ah, duh. <laughs> um, it makes perfect sense to me. Uh, and then, you know, it's like when you think about it, there's all these, there are all these, um, Attributes and assumptions that are that are uh, made and dumped on to a group collectively um, that really aren't true. Um, 
to, you know, like some people come in front of us and know, you know, because you didn't pay any attention, you're, you know, this, this racist filmmaker. And it's like, uh, you know, <laughs> he was doing his job. He was he was going to work and, and doing, you know, what, what he had to do uh, to make a living. So he wasn't focused on anything else except what he had to do. Um, and a lot of people do that. Okay. Yeah. And you can make assumptions and say, point the finger 